Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we're going to be talking about YouTube annotations, what they are and what they can do for you. How they can get you more views and subscribers, and that is the name of the game. So let's go ahead and get into this and go ahead and discuss what an annotation is. An annotation is a text link or just text that's going to be overlaid on top of your video. So in order to get to this screen right here to put annotations on your videos, you need to go to your video manager within your YouTube channel, go down and select a video that you would like to add an annotation to and go ahead and click on edit. So go ahead and click edit and once you are there, you will see this page right here. Go ahead and go to annotations. All right, it's up here in the top screen right here. So once you are in the annotations edit screen, you will see a few options. I'm going to go ahead and pause that video right here. If you want to add an annotation, the first things you need to do is go up here to this addition symbol and click on it. And there's a bunch of different kinds of annotations that I'm going to be talking about today. So as you can see here on this video, I already have one annotation on this specific video. It is a subscribe link annotation. These are very important important. Uh, I, I see a lot of people who, who are on YouTube and people who uh, have a lot of subscribers and views, they always put these little subscribe buttons on their videos. It makes it very easy and convenient for your viewers to subscribe to your channel. And uh, it's a very easy and convenient way for that to happen. Uh, so let's go ahead and add an annotation. So you have your video right here. Now, this video right now is paused at seven seconds. You can see this right here. I have this subscribe annotation going from about five seconds all the way to the end of the video. That way, as they're watching the video, if they see they like my stuff, they can just go right up here, click on the subscribe annotation, and boom, they're automatically going to a link in where they can subscribe to my YouTube channel and that is very very good to have so let's go ahead and add an annotation let's go ahead and start out with the speech bubble now when I go when I click on add it's going to add the annotation wherever the video is at that time so in this situation it's going to add it right at seven seconds so I'm going to go ahead and click on speech bubble and a new annotation will come up right here and it says enter text here I can click and hold and drag this wherever I want it in my video so let's say I want it down here in the bottom right hand corner. I will click and I will let go. Over here in the right you'll have all of your options. Okay, so let's say I want to link to another video. So I'm going to go ahead and link to another um, great video. Okay, so there's the text right there. Now you can do a lot of editing within this to make it look the way you want it to. There's two options here, normal or impact. Normal will just be a little flat box here. Impact kind of adds a little drop shadow effect to it. I already, I always do impact because why wouldn't you? It just makes it look a little slicker. Now, once you have done that, you have the option to change the size. You know, you can make it 28 font, 16 font, 13 font, whatever you want to do. I keep mine right around the default, right at 13. And the reason being, you do not want these annotations to get in the way of the video. The video is the content. Do not block your content because you're loading it up with annotations. So keep the font right around 13, maybe 16, depending on what you're doing. Um, so there we go. And I can always move this around, do whatever. I want to do this right here is going to be the text color you have two options white or black so I'm changing the text color to white and the background color I always make it a nice red color or you can change it to a blue but what you want is you want your text to be very very visible and this is the speech bubble as you see here and you can see the little speech bubble going up and that's the type of annotation that this is you can go right here and adjust when it starts and when it ends in your video you can type in here you can say one minute uh, and 30 30 seconds is when I want it to start or one minute and then I want it to end at one minute and 15 seconds you can do that here what I would recommend though is once you have the annotation here you can drag it wherever you want the annotation to go and you also have the option once you see this little right arrow or left arrow you can take it and drag it and make this annotation as long or as short as you would like for it to be so that's kind of where you can edit it here as well as the time frames here on the right side now this is where the stuff gets good you have a little block down here that's called 
the link box. You click on that link box and you have a few options. You can link to a video, a playlist, a channel, a subscribe link, or a fundraising project. Project. If you are a partner, you will have other options available to you, but right now this is what I am going to show you. So let's say I want to link to a video of mine, okay? I will click on this video, I will go over to a video of mine, I will copy that link and paste it right in here, okay? And that is how you will link to a video outside from this video. So let's say you've got a video about how to bird watch. Well, you've got another video about a review of a set of binoculars that you use for bird watching. Well, why wouldn't you want to put the link to that review within this video? Because people who are watching a video about bird watching probably want to see a video about binoculars in related to bird watching. So that's kind of how you can interlink your videos and get more views. I've done that within myself. If I'm doing an InDesign tutorial, I will put a few links at the bottom towards the end of the video linking off to a couple other of my InDesign videos. And that really helps me because people who are interested in InDesign probably will be interested in a lot of my InDesign tutorials. So you want to relate or you want to link related content. So that's that's a very big point here. Re link related content within your videos, okay? Now, let's go ahead. We've done all this. We've got our link. Let's say you don't like the annotation. You want to choose a different kind of annotation. you got a little trash can right here. It's as easy as one, two, three. Just click on the trash can and boom, the annotation you just created is now deleted forever, okay? So that's how you delete annotations. Now let's move into the other types of annotations. If you go up here to the add annotations, you have a speech bubble, which is what you seen a while ago. You have a note annotation, and this is what this one is right here. Okay, that is no, I'm sorry, that's a speech bubble. A note annotation is just a flat text box, just like this right here. That is a note annotation. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Okay, a title. Now let's say you want to title a screen, you're about to go into another video, you can title this whatever you want to title it, okay, and it'll show as an overlay, and you can even, you can't put a link on this one, but this will just title what you're doing on the screen, so this is kind of like a big uh, header uh, for your video on top of your video, that's what the title annotation does. The next one you'll see is a spotlight annotation, this one is really neat, I have not utilized this one as much, what you can do is you can put specific things within your video. Like I could do, I could design a subscribe image within my videos and put it up in the top right corner. And what I could do is I could go over here and I could adjust this uh, this little spotlight to hover over that image. I could type in my text here and say subscribe, okay, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to a, a yellow color. And I'm going to go ahead and change this back over to white, okay. And what that'll do is you can really take this and people can click on this. You can even put your other videos within this video and you can go ahead and outline them and people can click on your videos within a video and that is a really neat feature I have not utilized it near as much as I probably should have but you can do that with the spotlight uh, annotation I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one the next one you'll see is a label and what this one is is if you have a specific thing so let's say this is my channel right here up top I can go ahead and adjust this to cover my channel I can go in here and type in channel name okay just like that right there and what that does is I can just hover over stuff and I could put subscribe here you know so I can go back through here and I can type in subscribe and then I can make it a link to my subscription uh, channel wherever people can go to subscribe to my page they can just click on that little link right there and then boom they're gonna subscribe to my page they're gonna go to a page to where they can do that so that's what the uh, label uh, one is right there the last one I really never use it's a pause annotation and and it will just pause for like as many seconds as you want it to pause for. If you've got something of emphasis in your video that you want to go ahead and get across and you want to type some text on it, you can pause a video with an annotation, okay? I don't really ever use that one. I'm sure some people do. Myself, personally, I do not. So, guys, this is how you work with annotations within YouTube. They are an absolute underused utility that YouTube has to offer. I'm telling you, they are very helpful when it comes to getting subscribers, getting viewers. People are in your videos already. You already have their eyes on your video. So why not give them, provide them with some links to your other content? Get them more involved. When we're talking about websites, people in Web Designer will always tell you, in order 
to get people to stay on your page longer, make them go deeper into your page. And that's what annotations allows people to do. They go deeper and deeper into your content. So when they're hitting that back button, they're not going back to the YouTube homepage. They're not going back to the Google homepage. They're going back to another bit of your content that you've already linked from. So guys, I really hope this has been a useful video. If it has, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe within the, the, the box of this video. It really does help me out. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching my videos. I've got a new website up. It's called www.premiumtechtips.com. I'll be fu funneling in a lot of the tutorials that I do on YouTube, plus much more on that on that webpage. Uh, go ahead and find me there. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, like the Facebook page, TechGuru77. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching my videos, and I will see you guys next time.